put down your Sony A1. For the last three years, the Nikon Z9 has been the undisputed speed king, but now, the leaks are confirming Nikon is preparing to drop a bomb that will change professional photography and videography for the next decade. We're talking about the Nikon Z9 II. This isn't just a slight hardware bump. The Z9 II is rumored to pack the kind of world-first technology that Nikon reserves for its top-tier, statement-making flagships. If the leaks are true, the Z9 II is set to shatter every remaining barrier between a professional camera and a dedicated cinema camera. Over the next eight minutes, we're going to dissect the three biggest, most mind-blowing leaks about the Z9 II. The secret sensor tech that could eliminate rolling shutter forever. The dual exp power enabling 8K at 120 frames per second. The unmatched EVF upgrade that will make all other electronic viewfinders look like a toy. This is the ultimate analysis. If you shoot professionally, you need to hear every single word. The future of the mirrorless flagship is here. Let's dive straight into the sensor, because this is where Nikon might deliver the industry's biggest punch. The Nikon Z9 II is universally rumored to jump in resolution, moving from the Z9's 45 megapixels up to a sensational 60 to 61 megapixel stack CMOS sensor. This is massive. It gives wildlife, landscape, and studio photographers the high resolution files they crave, while the stack design maintains blistering readout speeds. But the most tantalizing, most whispered about leak is the potential for a hybrid global shutter. The Z9 already has a fully electronic shutter with an incredibly fast readout speed, virtually eliminating rolling shutter. But a true global shutter, the holy grail of sensor technology, would mean zero rolling shutter, perfect flash sync at any speed, and no banding whatsoever. Even if Nikon doesn't go full global shutter, the rumor of 240fps JPEG burst shooting and a bump to 40fps full resolution raw shooting suggests the new sensor's readout speed is so fast, the difference will be practically irrelevant to almost every user. The speed is relentless. The resolution is finally there. This is the ultimate hybrid sensor for a still photographer who demands no compromises. The heart of a flagship camera isn't just the sensor, it's the processor that chews through the data. The Z9 II is expected to leverage dual next-gen EXP processors, potentially EXP9s, to handle that massive 60MP sensor and, crucially, unlock revolutionary video specs. The big headline? 8K video at 120 frames per second. Think about that for a second. That is cinema grade high-speed 8K footage internally recorded. This kind of processing power means the Z9 II is a dedicated cinema camera masquerading as a mirrorless body. But it gets better for filmmakers. Red Color Science Integration, with Nikon's recent partnership and new Z Cinema line, the Z9 II is expected to leverage Red's color science, giving users a cinematic video mode with internal 12-bit RAW recording and better dynamic range. Pro audio and workflow, rumors suggest 32-bit float audio recording internally and a better codec middle ground between the heavy and raw and H.265. This eliminates the need for expensive external recorders and makes the Z9 II a ready-to-roll cinema rig. Thermal management fixes, the use of dual, next-gen processors is a direct answer to heat concerns, ensuring these massive video files can be recorded for extended periods without interruption. The Z9 II isn't just a camera for photographers, it's Nikon's play to dominate the high-end hybrid video market. The changes you can't see are often the most important. Let's talk autofocus. The Z9's 3D tracking is already excellent, but the Z9 II is rumored to use its enhanced processing power and potentially a dedicated AI sidecar chip to dramatically improve predictive autofocus. This means even better, more sticky tracking for erratic subjects like flying birds or fast-moving athletes. The leaks point to a massive improvement in low-light AF sensitivity and tracking reliability in video mode. Next, the EVF. The electronic viewfinder is where many mirrorless cameras still fall short. 
The Z92 is rumored to feature a massive jump to a 9 million dot OLED EVF with a blistering 240 Hz refresh rate. This is a literal game changer. The viewfinder will be so detailed, so bright, and so fluid that it will feel completely indistinguishable f. ROM and Optical Viewfinder This is crucial for high-speed action where lag can cost you the shot. Finally, Ergonomics While the body design is expected to be similar, keeping the integrated vertical grip pros love, leaks suggest a new fully articulating screen like the Z8, and perhaps illuminated buttons for low-light shooting. Nikon is listening to the pros who use this camera in the field every single day. So, when can you get your hands on this beast, and what will it cost? The most consistent leak points to an announcement before the 2026 Winter Olympics, February 2026, meaning a launch window of late 2025 to early 2026. As for the price, this is Nikon's ultimate flagship. Given the rumored tech, the 60MP stack sensor, dual processors, potential global shutter, and 9M.EVF, the price will reflect the innovation. Expect the Nikon Z92 to launch at a price point slightly higher than its predecessor, likely between $6,500 and $7,000 for the body only. The competition, Sony and Canon, are working just as hard. But what the Z92 leaks show is Nikon is not just keeping up, they are pushing the boundaries of what is technically possible in a hybrid camera. They are targeting the photographer who demands ultimate resolution and the filmmaker who demands high bit depth cinema specs, all in one robust body. The Z92 is Nikon's bold statement. They are ready to dominate the next generation of professional imaging. The Nikon Z92 is a camera defined by its no compromise vision. The jump to 60MP, the sheer processing power for 8K 120P, and the rumored viewfinder that eliminates the biggest flaw of mirrorless tech, this is the flagship camera that professionals have been dreaming of. Nikon isn't just building a camera, they are building a revolution. What feature are you most excited for? Is the 60MP sensor or the potential 8K 120P video enough to make you switch from Sony or Canon? Let me know in the comments below. If this deep dive into the leaks and specs helped you understand the power of the Z92, hit that like button and subscribe to Tap Tech. We will be the first with the official review. Thanks for watching.